So I'm here to give my first impressions on the new series that came out this summer, Gangsta. Oh man, you know, this series is really hyped up and I just finished watching this. This episode was really good and I'm glad they got an anime adaption from the manga. And uh, I've never read the manga yet, but uh, but seeing this, this has potential. I mean, this series gave me a lot of vibes from like Black Lagoon, and I love me some Black Lagoon. I mean, when that aired on Toonami, uh, I just loved it. But this series is pretty fun. It's got a lot of action. It's got drama, and I, everyone feel and I feel like everyone's gonna love this series. And if it's as good as when it hits the end. This might be my number one series at the end of the year. Like so far, um, uh, I already have a series that I really like this year, and it's like my number one this this season. And um, I'm not gonna uh, mention it until me and Shaq do a top five of what's our favorite animes of this season so far this year. But uh, that's not until he gets off his hiatus. If I want to say anything. The OST in the beginning of this anime was amazing. I really, really liked the music when they started out. It was just pretty upbeat and it was great. And I can't wait to like tune in for like more of this. Like now, I won't have to like you know, you know, for some OSTs that I don't like, like that I don't have to like skip skip the opening and just get straight to the episode. I can just I can just rock out to the music of what Gangsta has. And also, I see that this uh, series was uh, animated and produced by Managlobe. And seeing what animes they did, I can see the comparison with the animation. They this The animation company Managlobe that did Gangsta were the same people that gave us Dead Man Wonderland, which people are still waiting on season 2, my favorite, Mich Michiko and Hachin, and Samurai Champolo, if if I pronounce that right, and I can see the comparison to that. Like after looking looking back, like at Gangsta, and then looking at um, uh, remembering the Dead Man Wonderland animation, I can see the comparison between the two. And you know, I they got some good music in the beginning too. I mean, Dead Man Wonderland had that great punk rock. Uh, opening and then uh, Michiko and Hachin had that cool uh, old style music going on in the OST but um I guess they really got some good people to you know to you know produce and like compose the, you know the OST or get some like pop singers you know the, to like ask permission to use it for the opening you know but uh, it was pretty good I really really I really like the OST and the animation Introduce two characters you known as Warwick, who has the you know the eye patch and he has a gun. And here's an interesting part about the other his partner. Nicholas is deaf and he knows sign language. And um and, and also in this episode, like near the end, he was talking like um uh I, I wanna guess Russian or something like that. I'm not good with languages. But I only know it's like good it's like um if, if someone's like speaking Japanese, like I can't translate them, but I know what they sound like. That's Japanese and uh, somewhat of a Spanish. And then you, you can ask my Spanish teacher, like I was freaking bad at Spanish in high school. But uh, Nicholas is pretty cool. He's badass. He's got a sword. And when uh, the the uh, the pimp named Barry, he was like saying like, oh, who, who's paying you? Because, you know, we'll pay you double. He just did not hear. He didn't care. He was just about to go back in until, like, Warwick just, like, came out of nowhere and just, like, sh to start shooting them down. And Warwick and Nicholas, they're basically, like, handymen that work for the police and the mafia. So, basically, they're just a bunch of freelancers to do anything for money. And they, they don't care. They just want to do is just get the money and just help people out. And, you know, even if it's the mafia. And uh, we haven't really seen them like work for the mafia yet, but we've seen them with the police sit down that uh, the pimp named Barry. We also get introduced a new character that joins the handyman. She started out as a prostitute in the beginning, and then starts working with Warwick and Nicholas. Alex, she she like you know she's been going through a lot of difficult stuff with her pimp, and then you know dealing with prostitution. And then at the end, she when she sees the gun, I was kind of seeing if she's gonna go on them. 
but she decides to just like just start shooting shooting down her dead pimp like out of anger and you know she's you know and she's like thanking them like for killing him because of, from all the hell she's been with a lot of dirty people what for one set I really like this first episode of Gangsta, and I'm gonna start reviewing this on a weekly basis until like it ends this season. But uh, it's pretty great. I give it a 10 out of 10. This was a great episode of Gangsta. I can't wait to see more. I might even start picking up the manga and see what happens there because I looked up. It's got like 35 chapters. I believe it's like a monthly manga thing. It's pretty interesting, and I might start picking up the manga after this review. So. That's it for me. I'm going to start reviewing this weekly. This is a great series. I can't wait to see more of Gangsta. Later, you guys.